Hello everyone. At the core of our late is ships from the Second World War, or the first half of the 20th century really. The developers at Manju often make references or nods to the histories of these ships. So today I'm going to share with you a number of these historical references and what they mean. So let's get to it. We start with Northampton 2's pilot fish skill. In game, Northampton 2 is an Oregon City class heavy cruiser. However, in real life, she was converted into a command ship following a pause in construction. One of the roles that Northampton and other command ships would be tasked with was to be a pilot fish for the Council's United States class carriers. With the growing size of jet aircraft and the United States class being designed to carry bombers for nuclear strikes, it was believed there would not be space for a carrier island. The command ships would take over the role of the island, acting as its early warning radar and radioing orders to the carrier. The invention of angled flight decks made this unnecessary, allowing carriers the space for larger aircraft in addition to the island and radar masts. Warspite has the unique ability to equip an anti-submarine warfare plane in her first auxiliary slot. Most warships carried a small number of planes for anti-submarine warfare and spotting uses, before they would eventually get phased out by radars. Warspite is currently the only battleship capable of equipping one, likely due to her dive bombing and sinking U-64 with a swordfish spotter plane. The first aircraft to sink a submarine during the war, because of course she did. This one's not so much about a particular ship, but rather the Meowfisser Oscar, specifically his unsinkable Oscar skill. Oscar was the ship's cat aboard Bismarck, and following her sinking was found by destroyer HMS Cossa, who gave him his name Oscar. On the 24th of October 1941, Cossack was torpedoed by U-563 and would sink a few days later. Oscar survived this and would end up being transferred to Ark Royal, earning himself the nickname Unsinkable Sam. Not even a month later, Ark would be torpedoed by U-81, and Oscar was found clinging to a plank and was described as being angry but unharmed. Which, fair, I'd also be pretty pissed if I was on board three sinking ships in the space of seven months. The loss of Ark Royal spelled the end of his career, and he spent the rest of his life living in Seaman's house in Belfast until his death in 1955. All of this does raise a question though. Unlucky? Cursed? Or little bastard man? Back to specific ships and her skills, Littorio Sardinian Discipline gives her a 20% firepower buff for the first three battles of each sortie. This in reference to her 15 inch 50 caliber guns, which were some of the most impressive guns of the era. They outranged all other battleship guns and fired a heavy shell at high muzzle velocity, making them, in theory, very potent, especially for their size. This came at a cost, however. They would quickly wear down the rifling in their gun barrels, lasting around 110 to 140 effective full charges, depending on sources. About half the lifetime expected from other nations' guns. Given that the Regia Marina was meant to primarily operate in the Mediterranean, Italy's location within it, this trade-off was seen as acceptable. Most heavy cruisers have medium armour, and the ones that don't are older ships of an earlier design. Except for Kursk, who is a light armour despite being a fairly modern design. Obviously, this is because the Project X cruiser was thinly armoured, likely in an effort to save weight. Project X was designed in 1935 and was already 50% over the maximum weight limit allowed under the naval treaties. Thanks to its 12 240mm gun main armament, supposed 38 knot top speed, the large aviation facilities, mini subs, and a torpedo armament, it was likely thought the lighter arm would be thick enough for its design goal of hunting treaty cruisers, with the benefit of reducing weight and cost. The colour blue features heavily in New Jersey's design. This mirrors her real-life counterpart, whom would use dye bags to help artillery observers distinguish which shells were fired from which ship. New Jersey's were dyed blue, while her sisters Iowa, Missouri and Wisconsin were orange, red and green respectively. Whether or not this was an intentional reference or just a coincidence will remain unknown until the next of her sisters gets added. Less of a historical nod, but the two Yamato class ships currently in game are based on sibling gods from Shinto religion. Shinano's design is inspired by Tsukuyomi no Mikoto, the moon deity, and Musashi's by the god of storms, Susanu no Mikoto. When Yamato finally gets revealed, it's very likely she will take inspiration from the older sister of them, the goddess of the sun, Amaterasu Omikami. 
back to more historical tidbits, but still on the topic of the Amdos. In the background of Arkasho Fish's artwork is a transparent fragment of Shinano's rigging. Historically, Arkasho Fish was the submarine that sank the Yamato carrier, and that connection is reinforced with Arkasho Fish acting as a translator for Shinano's cryptic speech patterns in Mirror Involution. Shokaku's version of the 5th Carrier Division skill increases her damage received. The skill can only be activated if she is sortied alongside her sister Zuikaku, as a reference to the fact that when the two fought together, Shokaku would always end up taking more damage compared to her sister. Continuing on the topic of the Sakura, a number of the larger ships have a Golden Sakura Emperor logo somewhere on their body, referencing the Imperial Chrysanthemum emblem that was mounted on those ships' bows. One of Amagi's core character traits, her poor health, is a reference to her real-life career. The 1923 Great Kanto Earthquake caused significant damage to her hull and led to her eventually getting scrapped, and her carrier conversion being given to Kaga. Arizona is ripe with callbacks to her tragedy. Where she sits on her rigging is roughly where the bomb that would sink her struck, and her rigging only has three of her four main battery turrets. Tench is a reference to the single turret that's still currently on her wreck. The memorial built to honour her and her sailors is also worn on her belt. The fact she cries often is because the oil that leaks out of her wreck and to the water's surface are referred to as the Tears of Arizona. Arizona Meta takes this even further, because the poor girl needs to suffer even more trauma apparently. She is literally is sat on her wreck, with this photo of her sinking reflected behind her. I touched upon it briefly, but a ship's history can also affect their personality. Helena starts off demure and shy, due to being in Pearl Harbor when it was attacked, participating in the Guadalcanal campaign, and her eventual sinking a cooler goal. Taiho's Yandere behaviour is a front for her poor self-confidence and sociability stemming from her poor service career. Rune takes this to the extreme. The only th real thing about her is her guns. Everything else was either a technical drawing or a complete fabrication. She's a weapon given human thoughts and emotions, and that has resulted in a violently switching personality from sweet to hyper-violent and aggressive, especially when love and jealousy are involved. Hell, even Jewstagram has historical references. Unicorn's handle contains her pennant number, 72. Massachusetts' handle, 2,700 pounds of justice, is the weight of a 16-inch super heavy shell. New Jersey and Intrepid have their nickname, Peter Strasser is her project designation, and Shokaku's is Karekuru stemming from an erroneous reading of her name in Allied reports. There's tons of small details in the Arzelane's characters that allude to their history. Hornet is depicted launching B-25s as part of her participation in the Doolittle Raid. She also stands out more from her sisters due to being laid down and built much later. Zuikaku hates Turkey because the mass shoot down of her air wing was known as a Great Marianas Turkey Shoot. The rivalry between Akagi and Shokaku references the mutual distaste between the 1st and 5th carrier divisions. The Shokaku sisters and Taiho are designed to resemble birds, due to them being named after cranes and a phoenix respectively. Taiho is afraid of Albacore and often pranked by her, because Albacore was a sub that sank her. Independence buffs the Cleveland class due to being converted Cleveland class hulls. Independence also has a voice line when sorted with Enterprise and Saratoga about being part of a squadron refitted for night battles. The Yorktown class's pet eagle Grim is named after the Grim Reaper squadron that served aboard Enterprise. Belfast's broken chain references her being moored along the Thames as a museum ship and Warspite shouts her ship's motto every time she activates a skill. Formidable hates being called heavy or lumbering not because she's particularly heavy, but because the wooden cradle supporting her broke and she launched herself early. The hairpiece in Cleveland's New Year's skin and one of her socks in her base art has 13 stars, equal to the number of the battle stars she earned throughout her career. Juno's party dress skin has her surrounded by five swans, representing the five Sullivan brothers who died when she sank. Tarleen has a streak of red hair like a number of iron blood chips, due to being an incomplete Admiral Hipper class that was sold to the Soviets though she would end up becoming a target ship and remaining complete. Honestly, I could probably keep going, <laughs> finding small details and explaining how they reference each ship's history. Mind you, clearly put thought into each ship and their story. Probably why some people get so upset over paper ships. 
a lot of these ships have some real history behind them, and that helps inform their personality and characters. It's what makes them stand out instead of being just another Gasha character to summon for. But anyway, I'm going to leave it here for today. So until next time, I'll catch you later.